Hi, this is Jeff Gage from Green Mountain Technologies. Today we're going to talk about where to put a temperature probe, how many temperatures to take, and what would be a representative number of temperatures that you can take in a pile. First of all, if you want a hot temperature, you would want to be able to go about a foot and a half down into the top center of the pile because heat from the pile is working like a chimney coming out and you're going to have your hottest temperatures about a foot and a half from there. We can also get a good representative average temperature, what's down near the middle of the pile, and even going farther where we don't expect much oxygen to see if the temperatures get cooler and identify whether or not we need to turn the pile or turn on the aeration system to provide it more oxygen so more biological activity can happen. If you try to take a temperature down here near the toe of a pile, this is where all the fresh air is coming in and typically this is the cold part of a pile. So when we're taking temperatures, we want five good temperatures along the length of a windrow, and you need to pick your spots about where you want it. Knowing that in windrow composting, we just need an average temperature to come up, we'd like to take several randomly from the top, some from the middle, deep, and maybe even some near the toe, so we get an idea of where those temperatures are. The five temperatures along the side can be pretty much a re regular pattern, so you know where to go. You can look at Windrow Manager to help you identify the locations on your piles where you're going to take temperatures. Write down your temperatures or put them into your Windrow Manager app and then uh, you're golden. You have your information. It's going to be representative of what's going on in your pile.